It's a Manchu. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Man, I'm really excited to get back to this game. Because I figured it out. I figured it all out. I figured out how to get to the Ashtwin Project. I figured out how to get to the Quantum Moon. I figured out how to get to the Sun Station. I figured it all out. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, I don't think there's anything here I haven't looked at already. The first thing I want to do is get to the Sun Station. Because I, I think I need to get to that before... Um, before the sun expands and like swallows it up. And to do that, I need to go to... Ash Twin. And as I begin, I will remind you, if you see this video and you like what you see, click on the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. This is one of those things that it should have been so obvious. And probably if you were watching this and you already knew the answer, you're probably, you know, screaming at your computer screen going, it's right there. It's on your right. No, the other right. It's so obvious. I was overthinking it. It's not that complicated. I was overthinking it. All right, let me sit down here. Unfortunately, it's so early in the time loop that I can't see anything. I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, I'm in the right line, right? Because... The path is going to be right under this. So I just need to not get caught up in that. Here goes my ship. And follow this thing's line, it should lead me there. I had figured out... Wait, I think this is actually it. Yeah. I think this is the one. I figured out... Yeah, this is the sun station. It's got to be. What was it saying? I would figured out which portal, which teleporting platform led to the sun station. I was pretty sure of it but I couldn't figure out how to get to the actual platform. Now I just have to wait for the sand to recede enough for me to get in there. This is definitely it. When I came here before, I was like, I can't get through. See all these spiky plants? I can't get past them. I forgot the idea that, well, first of all, I can just walk through because the sand's high enough, but I also had the ability to... Uh, Oh, I'm getting pummeled here. Hmm. I was pretty sure that would work. I was almost certain that would work. I'm so sure that was the right thing to do. I'm going to try it again. It's got to be right. All right, let's try this again. This time with feeling. There. See? That wasn't so hard. That's it. I can open this door too. Not that that matters at all. All right, now I just have to wait here, I guess. 
until the sun station passes overhead. My suit did sustain some damage. But I made it. Should teleport me right about now. 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 There we go. I'm in. Not sure exactly what I'm looking at here. Two hundred eighty-one thousand forty-two years ago, no user commands received for ten minutes. All systems entering sleep. Huh. Six minutes forty-three seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. I can open the emergency door. Oh my. Uh. Wait a minute. Is that where I gotta shoot for? Oh, this is scary. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Or I'll fall into the sun. That That's another thing that could happen. Oh. 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 Mistake. Regret. So much regret. I'm running out of oxygen, but I have to be careful here because I will fall to my death. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. Um, that floating debris in the way. Unless maybe I'm supposed to land on that floating debris. I don't have a lot of time to figure this out. Yeah, I'm about out of oxygen. Oh, crap. Alright, well. My thrusters aren't working. Why are my thrusters working? understand what happened. I, I can't use my thrusters. Okay, now what am I... Should my thrusters work now? Oh, crap! As soon as I get outside, they don't work. I'm disoriented completely. understand why my thrusters wouldn't work. that opening I gotta aim for, right? For some reason, my, my big thrusters won't work. Once I get out here, I don't know why. I'm just gonna find a right time to get over there where I'm not gonna hit that debris. Not gonna hit the debris of the bridge. I'm flying 
off into space. Well, that happened. to, but I did anyway. Okay. Let's give this another try. I think my problem is I feel like, oh, I gotta thrust upward because, you know, the sun's right there and I'm gonna hit the sun. But the sun isn't going to pull me in at the speed I'm orbiting. I just have to... Aim it straight down the middle and not hit any debris on the way. That's a trick though, not hitting any debris on the way. finding a good timing here. These things are tumbling very strangely. Now. Got it. Ah. That took a few attempts, but I finally made it. Is there to see here. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in the view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Adia. I thought as much. This must be their power source and it's, uh, like, making the sun go supernova. That's my thinking. Um... Is there something up there? Because there's a way to get up to that balcony. Whoops. That was smooth. There we go. I don't see anything up here. No scrolls in storage or anything? Statues. This one's eyes are closed. Alright, I don't really see anything up here. I feel like I have a, a definite time limit here. I gotta see what there is to see here quickly. Before the sun, like, engulfs this thing.
star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red science stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star. One minute, 52 seconds. Approximate time until star's death, 13 minutes, 22 seconds. I ain't got a lot of time. I better make this happen quick. Looks like I got two minutes until I am totally dead. Ashwin Project's stone. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yero, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over. But I'm unsure how to start over. Return to the Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Pi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Adia? We're well, Yarrow, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with the exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. What's this showing me? Is this once again the Ashwin project? Yes. All right, pick that up. I don't need to see that. Sun station in the eye of the universe. Interesting that they're having in scales there. I don't know what that means. Well, I suppose I won't have to worry about uh, how to get out of here. <laughs> it's not going to be a problem. I have 38 seconds. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think so. Stand here and watch the sun take me. It does look like it's getting awfully close. sun station. That actually explains quite a lot. I'd assume that the Ashwin project had been turned on, had been activated by someone. They had a problem with the power source. In order to get the Ashwin project to work, they needed the sun to go supernova. They created that sun station as a way to make it go supernova, and it didn't work. But now the sun is going supernova on its own. And that allowed the sun station to generate the power they needed to power the Ash Twin project. Which means there's a problem. I can't just switch it off and keep the sun from going supernova. It's going to happen. Sun Station was designed to make the sun go supernova. 
The Nomai fired the Sun Station, but it had no effect on the Sun. They concluded that Sun Station could never cause the Sun to go supernova. After the failure of the Sun Station, the Nomai took a break to investigate a newly arrived comet. And thus, they destroyed themselves. According to the Nomai computer, according to a Nomai computer, our Sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. And it's just going supernova on its own. Well, that just leaves the Ash Twin Project and the Quantum Moon. Let me see about uh, going to the Ashwin project. Again, I have a pretty good idea of how to do that. The Quantum Moon, I think I know how to do it. I think I know how to get there, but I'm not positive. I'm not 100% sure. If I happen to notice the Quantum Moon in my travels, I will attempt to uh, intercept with it and see if I can do it. shooting for. Here we are. So, full disclosure, this one I looked up a tip for it, how to get to the Ashwood Project. Um, I don't know if I ever would have figured it out. I feel kind of bad for, for looking for a tip. Because a lot of the fun of this game is figuring stuff out for myself. Um, but this one is a little obscure. I always wondered why there were two platforms. Why they bothered to make a second one when it didn't seem to go anywhere. I stood on that platform forever and it didn't do anything. And the tip I got said... The way to get to the Ashwin Project is related to those that pair of uh, teleporting pads. And that you had to be looking in the right direction. Which is not like the normal, all the other teleport pads. All the other warp pads, it doesn't matter which direction you're looking at, just so that your target is overhead. And I sat here on this portal, like, forever. <laughs> and nothing happened, but I don't think I was ever looking down. And I think that's what I need to do. I think that's the key to this. So I'll stand here and look down for a while and see if anything happens. That's going to be a problem. It might be. Either I need to stand on the other one, or I need to make sure that I'm uh, under cover when that thing goes by. Darned, I did it. 
Whoo! Oh wow, would you look at that? So this has got to be the very center of Ash Twin. Ten minutes, 44 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Mass receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. So yes, the probe tracking module statue was, um, its eyes were open, but it was just getting the data, I guess, from the module itself and not from a sentient being, necessarily. But that explains what those statues were. 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Giant Steep, that's Gabbro. Timber Hearth, that's me. And the Pro Tracking Module. Let's see what other information there is here. There's some writings, like a lot of it. Today we finished the excavation of the Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved... We will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still can hardly believe Raymay's hypothesis was true. Polk just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Kasava is working with Avans to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we're all connected through the Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the Orbital Probe Cannon today. Mero tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Mallow part of the problem? Phlox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Adea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. Uh, that's what I thought. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. Looks like there's some data over there I can look at. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. 
Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the Orbital Probe Cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. Huh. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. However, this is as close as we've ever been. The Ashwin Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate the power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea. But you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. We're halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. Comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Or, you know, the extinction of your entire race, you know, that could happen too. Hmm. Looks like there's some big power switches there, which I'm loath to activate just yet. I wonder if this stuff is redundant, if I've already seen all this. Let's see. I've installed the mass inside the Ashwin flocks. They're beautiful, though I do feel as though I'm being observed. Yes, I have seen this before. If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues in their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Yep, I've, I've read this. I've probably seen all of these, but I'll take a look at them. Timber Hearthstone. Have I seen this one? Yes, I have seen this one. that was it and I have seen all of those writings before what the heck are these switches
artificial gravity control. Ooh, do I really want to turn that off? Actually, I might want to look at that because when I went to the vessel, I felt like something was missing in order to get that thing to work. I'm wondering if the vessel could t actually take me to the eye of the universe. I just want to see what was shining over here. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. And again, I don't really need to look at that. What was I saying? Oh, so I think there's a warp core here, and I might be able to take it to the vessel. I probably don't have time in this time loop to do it, but just in theory. The problem is that what happens if I deactivate this and does that like end the time loops forever? I'm not sure how that would work. But I'm going to flip this thing and see what it does. to say. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Huh. Again, is that something I really want to do? I'm not sure. I feel like that's going to be, like, game over if I do that. Let's disable this. I'm floating. So that was the artificial gravity here, it was just the thing was spinning. shoot. I'm kind of afraid of what will happen if I disable that thing. What's going to happen? I feel like it could only end in like There won't be any more time loops, right? If I turn this off? Okay, wait. Okay. That looks exactly like the warp core in the vessel. And frankly, I'm afraid that if I turn this off now, I'm going to be screwed. I'm going to save that for another time. Is this thing going to spin up and the gravity start working again? That's kind of what I was hoping would happen. head back.
Now that I know how to do that, I can get back there quick and easy. Okay then. Now I pretty much have all the answers. I pieced together most of it already. Hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my mass attached. Three of the mass are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module from Giant Steep, that's Gavro, and Timber Hearth, that's me. The Astrin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova triggered by the Sun Station to send probe data from the orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The Sun Station did not work. Although the Ash Twin project was theoretically sound, the Nomai were unable to power it. There's advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. I feel like if I do that, it's game over. And... But also... The vessel was missing a warp core. Its warp core was not functional. It looks identical to the warp core in the Ashwin project. So if I pull that warp core out of there and in the same time period get to the vessel and install it, I might be able to get to the eye of the universe. The problem with that is I feel like if I pull that warp core out of the Ashwin project, there are no more time loops. That's it. It'll be game over. Does that matter? I don't know. It's it's kind of... I don't know how the game will handle that, honestly. Uh, but that's kind of the last thing I'm going to try. Before I do that, I want to see... I still want to see if I can get to the quantum moon. I know there's a way to do it. I have a theory about how to do it, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. But we're going to try that next time on Amon Chooses Outer Wilds. Thank you.